Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Among our top stories, an 82-year-old Mayo man is facing more sexual assault charges after a third victim has come forward. Richard Walzer was arraigned yesterday on three counts of second-degree criminal sexual conduct. In 2021, state police were contacted by the Northern Michigan Child Advocacy Center medical coordinator to investigate a sexual assault report involving Walzer. That's when he first uh, was first arraigned for several counts of criminal sexual conduct and home invasion. State police say a second victim came forward and after an investigation, Wasser was arrested and taken to jail in September. That same month, a third victim came forward, resulting in the new charges. A Saginaw woman is accused of embezzling from her own mother. 59-year-old Val de Cork was appointed as her mother's guardian and conservator in 2018 after her mother suffered multiple strokes and was unable to care for herself. The attorney general says over a 12-month period, Cork spent approximately $1.1 million of her mother's money, claiming more than half of it was used to purchase a condo in Pompano Beach, Florida. Cork has been bound over to circuit court. State police arrested a Gaylord man accused of sexually assaulting a child. Police say 41-year-old Richard Busierek was identified as a suspect after a parent reported the alleged assault. Troopers seized cell phones and conducted search warrants for online accounts. Devices were turned over to the state police computer crimes unit for analysis. Busierek was arrested near Detroit and discharged with nine counts of criminal sexual conduct. And now here's a look at your forecast. Elise, your weekend forecast finally has a chance for some sunshine on Saturday. Some areas getting lucky enough to see some of that early Friday evening before the sun went down. Sunday a little cloudier, but also the trade-off here a little bit warmer. will be near 30 Saturday, upper 30s on Sunday. A live look at US 10 in Bay County early tonight shows that traffic is moving along at a good pace. The flag's blowing in the wind. It is a breezy night, and so our wind chills are primarily in the teens and low 20s as of 630. Low temperatures will actually fall to the teens themselves. So any wind tomorrow morning will make it feel even colder than that. High temperature Saturday, upper 20s to low 30s. As we take a look at the radar, we're starting to see the snow showers come to an end, and those, uh, those should continue coming to an end as we go through the rest of the night. Clouds may be a little bit more stubborn to leave in the thumb, thanks to a northerly wind coming off of Lake Huron. But everything looks to clear out as the day goes along on Saturday and should be one of the nicer days, at least as far as the sky conditions go, that we've had in quite some time. Your seven day forecast shows increasing clouds Sunday, a chance for rain returns on Monday and Tuesday. We get a dry day Wednesday and then another system to watch going into Thursday and Friday of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.